Hey guys, welcome back to Three Facts where we distill your most asked questions down into three talking points. Now, two topics that come up in a breast consultation are breast implant illness, or BII, and breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, or BIAALCL. It's a lot of acronyms. I usually shorten that to ALCL. And there seems to be a lot of confusion about what is what, and, and oftentimes because of the similar acronym, patients can get the two mixed up. So in order to try and clear things up a little bit, I'd like to now present three facts about BIA, ALCL, and three facts about BII. Now this is a two-part video, so it's advisable to hit that like and subscribe button because, like Aerosmith, you don't want to miss a thing. Number one, ALCL is not a breast cancer. It is a cancer of the breast. So to put it simply, it's a cancer of lymphatic cells and these are contained in the capsule that surrounds your breast implant. And that's why it's found in the breast. A strong family history of breast cancer does not increase your risk of ALCL as they're two separate disease processes. Now, ALCL has a risk of between one in 30,000 and one in 60,000 which is very, very low. Whereas traditional breast cancer has a risk of one in eight. It's a big difference. Number two, ALCL is found in association with textured implants. Now, to date, there have been no cases of ALCL with smooth implants. Based on the data that we have, the higher the texture or the rougher the surface of the implant, the higher the risk of ALCL. And that's why a few years ago, TGA here in Australia released a list of suspended implants that were found to have the most risk. The remaining implants, they're put through a series of assessments and they were then deemed safe for us to use. And that's what we have available in the clinic today. Number three, ALCL will typically present between three and 14 years after breast implant surgery. And usually there'll be a large fluid collection in one breast called a seroma. A series of tests will then be performed, usually an ultrasound to view the seroma and aspiration of that fluid. That's then sent on to the pathology lab to be analyzed. And that's how a diagnosis is made. The type of cells that are found in that fluid will determine whether or not you have ALCL or not. And if it's caught early, treatment can be accomplished by removing the implant as well as the surrounding capsule. However, if there is a solid tumor present or if the cancer has spread, then adjuvant therapies like chemo or radiation may be required as well. So guys, it's a huge topic and there's plenty more to discuss about ALCL and more to learn as well as research progresses. In the meantime, head over to part two of this video for three facts about breast implant illness. Thank <laughs> you.